Hello. I'm Dr. Shockrageous. How are you? Hopefully you're having, you're having a great year. And you're in good spirits, encouraged, very motivated. Uh, let me start by saying, giving honor to God, that it's a joy to even approach and continue to approach this year in the uh, greatness of the sound mind. So, giving honor to God, amen. You got the devil and the empress. So, the attack of the fertility of either a new beginning or trying to live up to a standard whether it's birthing a new beginning of your own but it's your standard you know happy Juneteenth weekend and week upcoming don't just do something for one day make it an everyday part of your life and watch you cross you know Alright, so that's that. Got readings to do, anoint, anoint. Alright, so I'm going to start promoting this year. So I've been working building Shock Rages. And just for those that find this content, thank you. Uh, I've been stockpiling content for whoever, uh, when I do get ready to have this available. But at least it's available, right? Amen. You got the uh, High Priestess. Show it to you. High Priestess, right? Being on that spiritual journey. Being on that spiritual journey while taking the time to not hide it. Being that individual that has achieved that educational journey. So if you're going towards education, congratulations. If you're able to be the person that God put as Moses had Aaron, and God had Aaron ride with Moses the entire time, and, and Moses was grateful. Moses was honest about everything with God. So... One thing about Moses and Aaron, Moses never had problems with Aaron, you know, and Aaron knew his place. Uh, God gave Moses Aaron so Aaron could have somebody teach him his specialty while Moses grew in his calling. So therefore... Having that opportunity. Yeah. Having that opportunity to death in reverse. Escape death. It come a time where trouble don't last always. It's coming it comes a time where when God said, Let my people go. Trouble don't last always. For those that need to get free from a circumstance, from a not under belief. You don't want to be encamped in not believing in yourself because that's a road that'll lead a person that could have just let their talents out to look for a, a way out of something that's difficult, not even your fault your fault. It's not even your fault. God give us free will. 
and in all that you endure, make sure that maintaining your self-respect is your only arena. People, you know, spar with you, but you got to make sure that you don't change your walk of life because finding who you were prior to having to adjust to something, excuse me, prior to having to adjust to something that was uh, just temporary, you don't change who you permanently are for something temporary. And for those of you that travel and or grew up traveling and found it hard to adjust to certain things, it wasn't to make you a part of an environment because sometimes you can go and in by the time you've grown, it's trickled into the adult life as not feeling uh as not feeling from somewhere. So before you ever need a place to come from, make sure you could come from who you are at all times. You got the Knight of Wands. Night of guidons, night of guidons, night of guidons. Sometimes you gotta put that smoke signal out of success to the point where others might not know, might not know, might not know exactly where you're coming from. But God will test you every time to get misunderstood because stop looking to get understood. Only person that needs to understand anything is yourself. And in all you do, get understanding. Don't stop. Congratulations. For others, there's those that have the gift that have the gift of uh, speaking, prophecy. Instead of walking around, I'm a prophet, I'm a prophet, I'm a prophet. Because it's not a problem. But the life of a prophet is a journey traveled long. And you're going to see so much along that path. It's a powerful journey. It's just all up to the essence of when times get thick. You gonna keep traveling it? What you doing it for? You should. You should find your happiness at all times. Never cease to exist. And it's only because your existence is only something that you can solely carry out. So finding, finding the uniqueness of who God put you here to be. You know, uh, yeah, congratulations, congratulations, and, um, That's amazing because the person that you grow into, you will learn how to celebrate. Every day is a celebration because it's you woke up. And as long as you hold on to your purpose, your path has days on them that are not numbered. They just seize it as God acts. Make sure that when you speak that your words are of seasoned caliber. So therefore, everybody that meets you and graces your presence has something sweet and savory to hold on to. When you watch a person grow because of meeting you, then you get to grow. But through God. At all times. There's a form of... 
there's a form of creativity. There's a form of creativity in it. every area. You should exercise your creativity. Don't ever get so caught up in wondering, wondering exactly what's your place in life. It's the emperor. There you go. You had enough. Somebody had enough of being quiet. Somebody had enough and needed to speak the truth. You got the Knight of Guidon and the Emperor. That'd be a proposal. And any kind. I'm not about to, oh, you know, that's number one sign of fear when you start to, start to uh, Categorizing. It could be a business proposal. It could be a marriage proposal. Which proposal do you want? Maybe you should go with that. Don't limit your potential. And if you prepare for it and God sees you equipped to carry out the task, then God so shall manifest it for you. Amen. So everything gonna work out. All right. And this is just a general reading. You pick your pick your sign. You pick your sign. You pick what you what you listening for. What you wanna find. This general. God is so good. For those that know how to pray for others other than yourself without expecting a take back of prayer, you know, then thank you. Hold on. I. So, yeah. You have to go into your spiritual space to conquer something. Sometimes you can feel like you know your strength. If God had you face something that is too, say if God, you ever been, you know, I'm not going to say you ever been in a situation. I'm going to say the situation felt like if God had you, excuse me. If God was to say that that was going to be what you had to do until the day you died. You went and found the spiritual balance. You became that spiritual fighter. But only to, for God to show you. That's when God was able to deliver you. Not as if mischief or mischievousness. Uh tried to overcome you. That's not it. That wasn't the that wasn't the factor. That wasn't the the uh, circumstance. Mother Earth. Yeah. It allowed Mother Earth to show you how Mother Earth a war for you. How Mother Earth can hurt for you. And how if you hurt for Mother Earth back, you can start showing your care and concern for Mother Earth in a particular way. Where, uh, hmm. you know, you found a friend in Mother Earth where it seems scarce. You know, the real true meaning of 
of a, of a, of a dying breed, you know. Some things occur where your storm probably consisted of not finding another you, but you gotta continue being you and your interaction with um, yourself or others consisted of sometimes you ever want another you because you know who you are you can trust you you hang out with you you know but it's a little different requirement A little different requirement because you gotta watch how envy show up. You gotta watch how pollution show up. You know? You gotta watch how time wasters show up. You gotta watch how degradation tries to take a course in your life because you've worked too much, too hard. We got a number of major arcana making itself available to you. So, about July, by July, you should see the result that you see. And start now, pick the goal that benefits the overall concept of what are you doing it for? Who are you doing it for? You know? Do it for the right reason. Yeah, do it for the right reason. Remember to cleanse. Amen. Remember to cleanse. Remember to protect your temple. All right. Remember to protect your life. Remember that you are loved. Set new goals. Remember that you can achieve them. So yeah. I'm about to do the uh, individual zodiac, but I want to start with the soul of whoever as a human first. You got somewhere to go. So yeah. Namaste.